again, July 1st update for DAC2. Uh, I certainly posted uh, a quick little note on um, <laughs> Father's Day a while back, and uh, you know, I was trying to show what the situation was here. It wasn't very clear, and uh, I was in a hurry. I wasn't paying attention, so it wasn't a particularly good job. Now, what we got here, let me just uh, point some things out. Uh, it's Access One, the uh, initiative. The random event allocated 2T, which we popped in uh, Rommel's box. And uh, weather was clear, Malta was no effect, etc., etc. I think PAX, uh, I, think the, I think both sides got one PAX each in terms of replacements. Now, here, uh, last turn, uh, the, ally, the allies went first and the Axis finished up and they DG'd this stack. Uh, they then started out the turn thinking, oh, well, they'll DG these guys and then try and overrun both stacks, which is potentially possible. Uh, after they hip shot this particular stack, they actually killed a unit and then realized that uh, if they fueled up elements of 15th Panzer, that they could try and overrun. And right here, if we kind of uh, scout around a little bit, let's see. Yeah, so where Marx is, <coughs> there's, a, there's an escarpment hex side. And there were two units there. There was a, uh, a hunk and great six, this guy. The, the um, seventh Royal Tank Regiment and one other unit, this guy here, this cab unit. And so uh, they, uh, they were overrun, and it was a pretty, uh, pretty dodgy effort, actually. Uh, we had, <laughs> uh, fortunately, I, you know, I hadn't played for, in fact, several weeks, and so I started doing the odds and realized it was a one-to-one -one attack, and then realized, no, it wasn't, it was actually a three-to-one attack. Failed the surprise roll. Uh, fortunately, it didn't go to defend a surprise, it was just a standard roll. Uh, the... Uh, AR ratings were 5 and 4. These guys uh, have 5s, but they have to subtract 1 because they're still acclimating to, uh, you know, to whatever, to the, to the way that, and, and I believe they haven't been on long enough yet, I have to check. But in any case, we rolled an AO1, uh, DL101, which means that uh, in an overrun situation, well, clearly there's a step lost. And then we, uh, the allies took the retreat because otherwise they would have lost the step and not made a difference. And that's a non-rebuildable unit. So they took the retreat. These guys took their step loss, which was uh, uh, this guy, the Arit Division. Arit, Arit, I think it is. The 8th Med Battalion. And uh, we took them because they're all fours, right? So uh, it doesn't matter which one we take. I uh, know we have to declare it. Uh, I forgot to. So my game, I get to do what I friggin' want. Uh, so these two other, well, there was only actually one other unit, uh, two other units there. And this guy moved up. He was not in the stack. And so uh, we moved up with marks, in fact. And so we've never got a nice heavy stack there. Uh, we'll be able to uh, put some artillery, hopefully, and even uh, even uh, hip shoot this next turn, and that will then put lots of pressure on the. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, lots of pressure on Mercer because the breakthrough here would really uh, put all of this at risk of being pocketed and out of supply. Mercer can only bring in one T per turn. Uh, they rely heavily on bringing uh, supply in via rail and via truck. And this is the only uh, main road that they have. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty big uh, turn for the Germans. Uh, there are two stacks here that obviously are going to be cut off this turn. Lots of power in here. Not a lot of... Uh, and there's actually... We can get uh, supply in from here to uh, feed and attack. But... Uh, and because we have a range of eight... With our, uh, with our HQ. I have to excuse the air conditioner coming on. It's still 85 degrees here. Uh, it's uh, 9 p.m. at night. Um, 
So there's, a, there's a quite a bit of uh, fighting power here, but I re I'm really struggling with how to best leverage this for the Allies and still maintain my line and keep uh, you know, a ready reserve. This was a big reserve stack, but uh, uh, we conducted an air barrage on that hex and DG'd them, which, uh, which means they're not also not eligible to use the leader and, uh, and go into reserve mode, I believe. So uh, we also made an attack here. Oh crap! Um, <laughs> that was really stupid. We made an attack here, and uh, I think that was a one, one or two. One of these is a two, and one's a one. Yep. Um, we made an attack here and killed a little fortress unit from Cairo. So we now have uh, units abutting the hedgehogged but not escarpment hexided hex and we have units abutting the escarpment well that's not escarpment either but it is a slope but it's a downward slope so there's potential to to press an attack here hold this position here that's an escarpment road side there so we can attack from this angle here so we're keeping pressure I don't have great units there but we're keeping pressure on. Meanwhile, I, I think we can kill these units this turn, this next turn. They're going to have to probably roll for attrition this turn. And uh, there's a pocket of nice strong units here for the Allies, and we're not sure what to do. I think we might need to get aggressive and start just attacking some stuff and uh, see if we can put some hurt on the, on the Germans. All right, that's all I got for you right now.